come home late and you come home early. You come home it was very clear that the world was starting to change really rapidly and the unfortunate thing was that 2020 was so beautifully planned. <laughs> it was really, it was, it was going to be a corker. We had some great, uh, some great gigs in there before it was all ripped out from under us. <laughs> what in the world? We've never not worked and sort of having that taken out, you're in shock. I, I really thought that music was a, an essential part of the way that this culture runs. So it was hard to to take that on and say, well, I'm not essential, I, I've been asked to stay home. Well, I've been performing, I've been on stage since I was 14. A ray of sunlight shines on everything. We know no other way. Being on stage is a way of life for us. Mm -hmm. We even fell in love on stage. Oh, darling. We got married as soon as we possibly could on the 2nd of February 2018, which was pretty much the first day that you could get married as a same-sex couple in Australia. Woohoo! <laughs> Batman made a promise. Since we met, we've just been together the whole time. We tour together. We just support each other and are together really all the time. It's as cheesy as it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Then he told her what to do. 13th of March, in fact, Friday the 13th, mm. <laughs> was the last time that we performed in front of an audience and uh, we haven't been able to since. Oh, we won't be doing that. We're still getting a show a day in the future cancelled. Cancelling all that. Would have been very easy for us to sit around and feel sorry for ourselves. But lazy is not sexy. And no. <laughs> <laughs> neither of us are lazy. We employ many musicians, so there is a swag of, of people that I know that live from gig to gig. And, you know, whilst we may have, you know, some savings that we can live off for a little while, I know some of these musos would be just lost. I said to Libby, I've just found what we're doing throughout this crisis. <laughs> we're not going to sit down and twiddle our thumbs. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Are you there? I knew that I wanted to do something to, to make sure that we could at least, you know, get a, a week's worth of food in their fridge. And to do that, the only outlet we've got, obviously, is social media and to be able to do a show online. I was looking at you before, Libby, going, you look really nice. Haven't worn makeup for about three weeks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four. Our fans, they got on board straight away because so many people are wondering how to help anyway. A huge shout out to Belinda and family in Oruru, who, wait for it, bought $500 worth of tickets. Through the two online concerts that we've done so far, we raised almost $14,000. Then we heard on the radio that relief centres around Australia had suddenly tripled in clientele. People saying, mm. I need to feed my family. And I was driving along in tears, listening. Got a car absolutely jam-packed full of goods. So we incorporated that into our online concerts and the money that we raised, and we were able to give away 100% of everything that we that we raised. Okay. Wow. Wow, look at that. Oh. That's extraordinary. We felt so encouraged when they said what we had dropped off had helped 150 separate families. They yeah. made us feel really good and... I'm getting emotional. <laughs> and um, and uh, it, I think it just made us feel really proud of the people that donated as mm. well, you know. Puzzles. I wonder if I could be paid to be a professional puzzler. We're seeing the restrictions slowly lifting, which no, is no. incredibly encouraging. Please don't jam them in like that. As yet, the musicians are still, we're still in the same position. It goes there. Does it? The PM said that the first things to be taken out are the last ones to be put back. Where did you put it? It's just so, so fortunate for us that we've got this other way of touring and doing music. A couple of years ago, we started a bit of a side business and it was an idea that I had because I love camping. We take 
people in their caravan. We take up to 40 vans with us and we'll go out for two weeks somewhere in Australia. We try and visit towns that people wouldn't normally go to to help support local businesses in, in these small country towns. Here in South Australia, we are permitted to have a small gathering in an outside area. And we are really hoping that we are able to continue our music and camping tours um, probably before we're able to, to do our concert shows. Wine time, gin green bottles I've had some wonderful satisfaction of getting up and dressing up and being a superstar on a stage in front of great crowds. But there is something so incredibly special that is, has crawled into my heart about doing it around a campfire mm. to a small group of people. I'm, I'm kind of edging towards loving that the most at this point in my life. Under the stars, with people, around a campfire, a few red wines, I mean, it is really <laughs> sensational. One of the reasons why we were meant to be together, I think, is to do this kind of thing together. <laughs>